Hello everyone, I'm Xantor and welcome back for more No Man's Sky. Last time we 100%ed our first planet and I named it Notchathora. Notchathora, that's what I called it. Anyway, uh, we haven't got any fuel in our th uh, launch thruster because we, you know, haven't actually fueled it yet, which is a dumb idea. But anyway, we have now charged it up to 100%. Let's charge our pulse engine up with a little bit of thorium 9 that we've got. We're going to be getting some more this time. So that's going to be a lot better. And we're off! We have taken off. Just a note uh, before leaving your first planet. You're never going to find this place again. Never going to find this exact spot ever again. So make sure you've, you've said your goodbyes properly before launching out into space. Journey milestone accomplished. What do we got here? Starship launch accomplished. Oh yes. And would you look at that. We're in space now. We are... In space, officially. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look at the planet. Boom! This is Notchathora right here. This is it. This little bit. I mean, technically we can find the place that we were. By like just heading to that shelter or the beacon that we're at. But anyway, yeah, look at that. We are in space. How wonderful. And there's all sorts of new planets we can discover and everything. It is incredible. And by the looks of it as well, what I saw over here somewhere... I remember seeing some big spaceships. There you go. Look at that. We've got spaceships over there. Um, these will come into use a little bit later on in the game. Um, because we will be able to get into like space combat and space battles. And stuff. Which can be kind of cool. But as you can see. Um, each one of these. Uh, as you should put it. Like boulders. Meteors. Each one of these is made of thormium. So. Yeah. You, you're, you're sorted really aren't you? Pretty sorted. Um, now we could attack these guys, but I am not. I'm not brutal. I don't want to attack them. They've done nothing wrong to me. Um, so yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at our little mini map, and as you can see, we've got a planet here, and we got some other planets around this area. And there's, geez, there's a lot of them here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five other planets to go to. Wow, this is big. Now if we press M, we'll be able to go into our galactic map. And yeah, this is where we are. This is our star system with like the, the six planets. Look how many others there are. Look how many others there are. And this is what we're heading to. This dot of light. This is the galactic center. Look how many different star systems there are between us and it. So yeah, we're going to be here for a long time. A long time. Anyway, let's do a star system scan and see what we can find. Incoming signal. Where is this coming from? It's coming from this planet. Alright then, so let's let's head to this beacon. Because it's going to be in something important, isn't it? Oh, here we go. We're arriving at this beacon in 8 seconds. Here we go, we're coming in to land on this next planet. And wow, that was... That was really bad, actually. We ran out of uh, charge. Um, let's grab a little bit more thormium. Let's charge our engine up. Boom. Fully charged. And now, let's go. Let's go properly this time. Here we go. We're coming into land. Whoa. Woohoo. Here we go. Crash landing. No, let's just land here. Press the land button. Boom! We have landed on our secondary planet. So what is here? Fauna non. Okay then, that means there is no animals here whatsoever. So we've just got a dud, basically. There's nothing here. That's fine, that's fine. You will get these uh, fairly frequently. I believe there's at least one or two in every system. Um, you know, uh, that there isn't anything on. But anyway, we need to go here anyway, because there is something important here for us. So let's just, uh, let's head off to that, which is 16 minutes away. So I think we're just going to fly there. I mean, flying there would definitely be the easiest option. Because, I mean, there's nothing cool around here. Look at this, it's just, like, rock and ash and nothing, really. So let's get in our ship, fly over there, and maybe we'll have some uh, something interesting encounter over there. Yeah, there is a, a inbuilt uh, invisible wall between the ground and uh, and our spaceship. So if, well, no matter what we try and do, we cannot crash into the ground. Okay, it is impossible. 
which kind of sucks, but oh well. Anyway, look, the outpost is here. Let's see if we can land on the landing pad. Um, honestly, the easiest way to do it is to go upside down and wait till you see it sort of track. See, look, the landing pad is right in front of us. Yeah, yeah, we didn't land on it. How how dumb. Anyway, this is the Oyota Crater. It does look like a crater, to be fair. Oh dear. These right here, these things, this is what I call a shell, and these shells are everywhere. <laughs> this is the reason why people don't necessarily like this game, because of the reason that uh, that these things are everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. Like, every planet you go on, you'll at least see one of these, um, which is one reason people don't hate the game. Uh, but I don't hate the game. I like this game. It's it's a good game uh, For the first couple of hours and then it gets a bit tedious But anyway, but we'll ignore that and we will keep playing because I actually want to beat this game um, Rather than get bored after the first two hours uh, Anyway, here we go. As you can see here, Emeril. What did I tell you in the last video? It's fairly rare and we can get 12 grand for this. So look at that Bam 12 12 grand just like that and there's all sorts of stuff we can buy here um, the Galactic Trade Network, anyway, uh, is basically a shop um, where you can buy and sell stuff. Um, and they're all like, are like exchange rate sort of things, sort of like stocks for certain items, which is kind of cool. So, for example, uh, this thing, we sold the Emeril at plus 1.3, which is good, because that means you get more money for it. But it can sometimes be at like minus 99, which means it's pointless to sell it there, because you're going to get like nothing for it. But anyway... Let's uh, talk to this toil jack, uh, toil gek bitra, which is a gek creature, and as you can see, he's saying a load of gibberish. When we learn his language, he will make sense to us. Anyway, we get the blueprint here, and what is this blueprint for? Are you asking? This is the hyperdrive, which will allow us to transport ourselves or teleport to another star system. So remember what I showed you on the galactic map. Uh, yeah, that is the star system. We are in one right now. We will not be able to move to other ones unless we fully upgrade our hyperdrive. Which, uh, you know, it's, it's alright. Um, but for now, we are actually going to need to make a hyperdrive. So, what do we need for this thing? So, let's uh, just move this a little bit. Hyperdrive. Let's see. So we need a dynamic resonator, and we need 200 heridium. So let's see, is there any heridium close by on this planet? Because if so, I would get some. I will get some. I don't particularly like the fact that I'm going to have to climb all the way back up here if I fall down. So maybe we should leave it for now. Um, I'll just have a little quick look around for some heridium. There's some down there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly down there in my ship. And then uh, what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, to take off, go to the space station, uh, which is a, a good good idea to do, because you see planets that don't have anything on. I'm not just going to have that as one video itself. I'm probably going to go to the space station as well when we find a planet with nothing on. I don't know. I just think that would be the best decision, to be fair. So first order of business, let us go to this iridium deposit down here. So here we go. We've got enough iridium. Now we've got to go to find a dynamic resonator which if you didn't know is in the space station so we are going to be able to make the hyperdrive in this video uh, charging it up though charging it up is a different question because uh, that'll take a little bit longer to do anyway let's go to the space station and uh, and see what we can do eh? anyway now that we've discovered that planet and seen everything on it let's just upload these discoveries and let's name the planet so we're going to call it Hernwist H-I-R-N-W-I-S-T Hernwist You see what I mean? I like to name them similar um, to what they've already got a name as. Let's fly to the space station. 3, 2, 1 Boom! Here we go. We're coming in for launch. or coming in for landing. This music right here is incredible. And we're coming in to land. I love the soundtrack in this game. The soundtrack is incredible for this game. So nice. So powerful and epic. 
Could you hear this music only when you go into space stations, which makes it incredible. By the way, um, before I continue, uh, just a note. Uh, if things may seem different from when I upload the video and from when you see the video, that may mean that there is a uh, has been an update to the game, um, which means like because they're working on a content update at the moment apparently for this game. So if if things are a bit different, um, then that will be the reason why because there will have been a content update until or well, since this game. Anyway, this is the guy we need to talk to, the sales gek. That's weird. You never really see uh, the names like sales gek. Gek first. Blah 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 blah. Give. So because he says give. That means, I think we need to choose this one. Give ten units. The life form is there. Yeah, the life form is thrilled. So he gave me a blueprint for some we've already got. A phase beam. Brilliant. I, I. He's completely useless to me. Completely useless. Anyway, this is called Outpost Three Out of Five. So, is is there another two that we haven't seen? Anyway, uh, here are actually some stats of, um, of of your journey so far. How, like how many words you've learned, how many uh, alien colonists you've seen, and stuff like that. But anyway, um, always from the first space station that you visit, uh, if you've got the blueprint, uh, you'll see a dynamic resonator, which is what we need. It's a little bit expensive, but we can afford it. We can afford it. So now that we've got the dynamic resonator, we are able to craft our hyperdrive, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Just to know, other spaceships will come and land here, you know, just casually. Uh, and this is how you get other spaceships in the game, by just going to a space station uh, or trade terminal. And, you know, you, you can just pick up and talk to these other ships, which is kind of cool. Anyway, we are now able to craft our hyperdrive. So let's go and do it. Boom! Hyperdrive is installed. Oh, yes. Now we need warp cells in order to uh, travel. Which you need 100 thormium 9 and an antimatter. How do you make antimatter, do you ask? Well, we can't make it at the moment. Which is just incredible, isn't it? Absolutely incredible. Which means we're going to need to go and find some antimatter. How do we do that, you ask? Well, let's go to another planet, eh? Let's go. Okay, the game wants us to go back to Hernwist to uh, to go to his outpost, so... And boom, we land on the Hernwist again. Hernwist is in the, the planet with nothing on it. But there is something inside here for us, and I believe it is our first antimatter. So uh, let's go and get it. I believe it's the same guy. No, it isn't. It's a different guy. Broker Vinningsut. Okay, so what do you got for us? Antimatter. whoop de doo We can make our first... Warp cell. Uh, and later on in the game, we are going to be able to craft antimatter ourselves. Um, but that is a little bit of a pain to do. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, let's fuel up our hyperdrive 20%. So, you need five of them to fill it up completely. And there we go. We can now travel between this star system and another, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Let's leave this planet. Let's leave. This stupid planet. I don't want to go back here. I don't want to come back here to this planet, Hernwist. It's dumb because there's nothing here. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to be heading off to another planet now. Let us go. Enable galactic travel. Accomplished. Woo. So where are we going to go now? I think we should go to this planet. The, the Fexia Ronco. Let's head off there and see what we got. Three, two, one... Whoa! We're in the area. What are we going to find here on this planet? Is it going to be good or is it just going to be a load of rocks again? It looks like a load of rocks to me. Looks just like some rocks. But maybe there's going to be some plant life here. Or some animal life. I really hope so. Because that would be kind of cool. Hey look, a landing pad right here. Let's, uh, let's just go over here and land. It's always a good place to land on a landing pad. Um... You know, it's like um, it's like wiping your feet on a rug. You know, when you just come in, it gets rid of all the the excess dirt and stuff off. It's a bit like that, in my opinion. Anyway, the vast jog, desert, and there's no fauna again. Wow, wow, what an empty star system. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a look inside here. What's going on? Oh, there's another gek here. 
Hello there, sir. What do you have for us? Gig, blah, 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 gig, blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's, let's think with some common silicate. Why not? Brief thank you. Oh, well, there you go. Well, there you go. Oh, it says he would have preferred something else. So it was a good option, but not the best option. Anyway, he gave us a thousand units for that. So I'm pretty happy with that. All right, then. It looks like there's some floating islands over there, which is kind of cool, actually. That's pretty good. While we're here, we might as well explore these little shacks here, which can still have some stuff in it. So, activating those will make your gex standing increase. Um, and oh my god, we're just getting all sorts pop up at the moment. Just go away! Gex standing 2. Yay! We're, we're a client to the gex. Analyze multi tool tech. So, this will give us another multi tool tech. Beam focus sigma. Um, it'll basically mine stuff quicker. Um, Excuse me, chair. And what's in here? There is nothing in here. Uh, our life support is offline, so let's just charge that up again with some Thormium 9. Brilliant. Now that we've done that, because there's literally nothing else here, um, apart from that mushroom and maybe some other little things, we can just leave. I mean, we can literally just leave this planet now, because there's nothing here. Let's discover the mushroom for a little bit of extra... A little bit of extra credit, and then we'll be taken off again. What are we going to call this one? We're going to call it Ronka. Planet Ronka. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there's nothing else to do here, so it looks like the best thing to do is, is take off again. But you know what? I think we're going to explore some more of this universe in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, favourite, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of No Man's Sky.